I think it's really important that we get this signing done as quickly as possible because it has kind of been the saga of the summer. Yes, people, welcome to Transfer Tiger, the place where we take a look at all the potential deals and we rank them. Today, we are joined by Heart of the Holtz, Dan Morgan, to talk all things Aston Villa. Yes, Dan, how are you doing? Um, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a bit of a busy summer for you guys already. Ollie Watkins in, Matty Cash in, Premier League football for another season. How are you feeling? I'm really excited, first of all, that we've got Cash and Watkins in. I think people may look from the outside and see, oh, Villa are recruiting championship players again. But when you're looking at Cash and Watkins, obviously Watkins, 25 goals, three assists last season, all goals from open play, which is absolutely huge. Matty Cash, what a signing. Mm. Very good attacking output, obviously used to play on the wing. He epitomises everything that a Dean Smith fullback uh, should be. Right, we'll get into dreamland. Good news for you guys, um, Jack Grealish who has been linked with a move away, but he signed a new deal. How big is that? Is that bigger than any signing you could have made this season? Absolutely, mate. It's 100% dreamland. Jack epitomises everything that Aston Villa Football Club is about. He's come through the academy. He's captained his side to promotion. He's kept us up pretty much single-handedly. Earned himself an England call-up. He's the man and uh, clearly signing on a five-year deal is a real statement of intent from both the owners and Jack. Uh, if anything as well, it just adds more value to him as well. You know, Jack Grealish really yeah. is irreplaceable for Aston Villa. So uh, arguably the signing of the summer, really, this contract. Right, you've already signed Ollie Watkins. We spoke about him briefly. Um, another striker you're being linked to, Odson Edouard from Celtic. Now he's got 27 goals in 45 matches last season. You scored 41 in total in the Prem last season. It's something that we've lacked at Villa for so long is, is a striker that one is, is absolutely prolific and two, uh, electrifyingly uh, quick and Edward possesses that. He's the perfect all-round striker really. There's a real variety of goals there which is genuinely so exciting. The fee reported to be around 40 million. Uh, I'm hearing that PSG have a 40% sell-on clause which is why that price is getting driven up. If you can get someone like him in especially for the fee, Villa are absolutely laughing really because scoring goals uh, was, was a problem last season. Right, moving on we have the definitely maybes. I've been on YouTube watching this guy and he looks like a baller. Werder Bremen attacker, Rashita. We've already mentioned quite a lot of strikers. Would you take him over some of the others? Uh, I think it's really important that we get this signing done as quickly as possible because it has kind of been the saga of the summer. Rashitska, uh, very much like Jack Grealish, was the heart and soul of Werder Bremen. Mm. He was the attacking output. Ultimately, they finished 18th, which in the Bundesliga is the relegation playoff spot, uh, managed to stay up. Uh, he scored eight goals and assisted five last season, created 40 chances, and I think it would be a really good transfer. The problem with it is he seems to be angling for a move to uh, a European club, RB Leipzig, yeah. he was linked with. So it's exciting to be linked with this kind of player. You just want them to want to play for Villa. Finally, we have the dead certs, Emiliano Martinez um, from Arsenal. Been impressed while stepping in for the injured burn Leno last season. It's genuinely because he wants first team football uh, and he's been promised that. If Martinez can come in, get, get the game time he needs at Villa, uh, ultimately achieve his goal of becoming his country's number one. That's great for him. But yeah, I, I can't help but feel sorry for Heaton. But yeah. uh, I, I couldn't I couldn't say no to Emiliano Martinez. I think the way he can pass out from the back, you know, he's a great shot stopper, doesn't concede many goals. It fits the bill for, for the Dean Smith goalkeeper. Aston Villa in advance talks with Leon over a £19 million deal. For Birch and Traore. It's a bit of a money ball transfer, really. We lack the pace. He instantly brings that. You're going to naturally create more chances if you can stretch defences, you can play a long ball and have him get on the end of it. It's going to be an interesting one. It looks like it's picking up a lot of speed right now. Uh, I certainly wouldn't turn my nose up at it. It's more competition for the wingers, which I think ultimately Dean Smith really wants. Thanks for checking out the BBC Sport YouTube channel. Remember to give this video a like and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button so you never miss an upload. See you soon.